Hello and welcome to another Survivor Kingston road trip exit interview here with the Merge Boot. We've got <laughs> Spikeball Roundnet world champion Clark Marshall, an uh, old friend of mine as well. Clark, sad to see you here, but glad I get to talk to you today. Yep, Merge Boot has a, has a special kind of uh, aura around it, so I'll take it. But um, showed up in my in my shirt, hat, purple buff, just to just to relive the memories. Yeah, I, I, I had you clocked too I, uh, on the pre-show. I, I put in that like do a barrel roll question, like world champ to merge boot. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yep. yeah, I, 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 it, I, was, I was like, I don't know where he falls, but if I had to make one guess, yeah. I feel like he shows up at the merge and everyone's like, this guy is good at the game. <laughs> and really... Get him out. Um, and, and it's also a bit of a treat because we're in the merge, but um, it's actually the first time I've got the chance to talk to someone from the OG Emu tribe. Mm-hmm. So if you'll humor me, I'd love to go back to the very beginning of that. Um, you guys lose that first immunity challenge and, and Debbie kind of gets voted out. But I wanted to know just more about like the background of the, the tribe dynamics because we see them play out a bit here um, with you kind of, you and Gabe maybe like targeting Hannah Brown, maybe mostly Gabe, and then, ever, and then Hannah and everyone else kind of targeting you. So I'm curious, were the vibes like similar at the Emu tribe back way back when? What was the relationship like with, with HB, with Mandy, with Gabe? I, I really liked that four. I mean, they showed it a little bit, but... We were really strong and had really good vibes. Like we we painted up the day before the challenge, and we showed up. And we had a chant, um, so we had a really strong four that like I would have loved to do one more challenge with, and you know see how those relationships developed. But we immediately got broken up. That's what happens. Um, and I think like we might have had a brief uh, wh- before that challenge. We're like, hey, if something crazy happens, like I'd love to stick together us four to you know and reunite later in the game so we did kind of have that working in the background like hey we we all like each other we all would like to work together um but i think however the game developed once there was the new coyote new capybara i think maybe those or divisions happened um and maybe we're a little stronger so like it was apparent that we lost hannah brown so maybe that's where like the split off happened. It was like, oh, she's playing both. She told us she wanted to work with us. She split off, didn't get voted off in their challenge so or their uh, tribal. So it's like, okay, now she's in with them. So maybe that's kind of where the split off happened. Um, but in terms of like, I would have loved to keep working with them. I, I really like those three players and three strong players. So those are the type of people I think I would have needed to work with. Yeah, they were, they were the last three standing on the on the bricks, so def, definitely strong and yeah. uh, different types of types of challenges, individual and tribe. Um, before we get into like I guess like this this merge vote, uh, I want to call it one more thing that uh, Chris and I discussed recently, which was Elaine kind of like calling you out. Obviously, <laughs> you and Elaine were friends before the show, so she's like, "You haven't even seen this guy do the puzzle." I think there was one puzzle with like the the pig rest where you're like, "Yo, watch the corner, watch the corner." Right. Uh, so you were like kind of you kind of like already like showing a little bit of the puzzle prowess, but. Um, just tell me about like what what were the conversations? I'm, I'm assuming there were some with Elaine that we maybe didn't see, where you guys do know each other, and you're uh, were you trying to game with her, game against her? Because she she didn't edit, she's gaming against you hard, but we don't see you guys even interact. Yeah, no, I mean we know each other really well, so it wasn't anything within the game where she was like, mm-hmm. oh, I can tell he's you know he told me he's not going to do puzzles, whatever. I think she just knows I like puzzles and I'm somewhat of an analytical thinker, so I think maybe she. And I, it was a goal of mine, like, all right, I don't want to, like, just go out there and try and do everything, that, you know, I don't want to have my hand in every little decision. Um, so I, I did not volunteer for the puzzle. There was only one opportunity, really, where I could have. Um, and so she must have picked up on that, and she's like, hey, guys, he's hiding that he's good at puzzles, too. So that was a tough one to watch because it was, like, it was almost a lose-lose, right? It was like, if she's using it against me that I didn't do the puzzle... What are you going to do? Could. Yeah, what are you yeah. going to do? Did you did you want to work with Elaine? Because it seems like she didn't want to work with you, like having that familiarity. What, what Did you have any conversations no, definitely. with her during uh, and, that merge or during the, the split even? Yeah, and you, it was, I think post-merge mainly was some of the talk, or yeah, some of our talks that didn't get shown. Um, she was, her and Bones were two of the people that Gabe and I at one point might have thought voted, could have voted with us. Um and that was before the challenge. So, like, there was some scheming that went on where I thought 
we might work together. Um, but then it, sh it showed that she valued her Capybara Tribe alliances uh, a little more. But, no, we definitely talked some game. Um, I guess in the grand scheme it didn't really make sense to show uh, any of the scheming we did, but I would have loved to work with her. Gotcha. And then um, the only other question I've got here is, like, uh, if she's wanting to scheme with the capybaras, what kind of conversations or maybe, like, facade is this capybara tribe putting up? Are they pretending to not all be together? Um, we kind of hear Luke, like, pushing that narrative that capybara is staying strong at every tribal, but, like, are they trying to hide uh, you know, before this, before the swap, you know, during this merge? Uh, you know, obviously leading up to your, your, your vote, not, not beyond that, but just, like, in, in this... In this merge situation, are they are they pretending? Are they, what's their vibe? I I don't know if they were trying to hide it. I think it was pretty apparent that that was an option. It was like, all right, Bones and Elaine are either going to vote yellow, and they're going to be strong mm -hmm. on this vote, or here on out, or they're going to split off at this point. Um, so because they still had all their m members, right? They still have all their members. Yeah, they they haven't lost anybody. Yeah, from because they still have all of them. It was like. It was kind of a well-known thing. Like that's such an easy option that they can go with. Um, so I don't think any of them, they were trying to hide it, and I think it was pretty out in the open that like this is a very good fallback plan for all five of them to just group up. Boom, that's five. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, going to like the pre-tribal conversations, you get this water with Adam. It's a really fun edit where Adam is really close to picking this up. I'm curious, <laughs> just for, for starters, did you know that Gabe had safety without power? I know you talked about the idols and all the other knowledge you had about Bones' idol and such. I actually I was trying to remember the chronology of all of it when I was watching mm -hmm. back. Um, so I did not know um, he picked it up until later. And I'm trying to remember okay. at what point he told me. But but he told you before Tribal that he, he had He told me before Tribal that okay. he had that... Um, and I think it was kind of in the in the the scurry of it all where we kind of it it was apparent to us that like I think it's going to be one of us like there there was a there was a moment where maybe there was some momentum where we could have gathered numbers but it looks like that didn't happen it's probably one of us and then he mm -hmm. told me like hey by the way I found this thing and then I was like oh no um, that's even worse for me like because you can actually kind of see it. I'm trying to, right before we walk to Tribal, is when... Yeah, I see you he, guys talking. Right before we walk is when walk. he told me about his... He's like, hey, by the okay. way, I can leave. And I was like, okay, how do I how do I tell him the urgency of the situation without making him just want to leave? Because like, I, ideally, I would like him to play his idol on one of us, give us better chances. Um, but yeah, you could see in in the edit... When we're walking to tribal, we're talking, and that's when it was like, it's one of us, like, I think you should play your idol, blah, 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 blah. But I think he ended up just bailing. And It's obviously hard to pitch, like, hey, give me your idol, and you can take the save of that power. But did, 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 that, did that cross your mind? Did you try to make that pitch to him? I more so wanted him to just play the idol, like, on himself even. Like, because yeah. I, I was pretty like, sure it was going to be him. You. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was going to be him. The edit makes me think otherwise like it might have been me either way um mm -hmm. which i i didn't really i didn't know that at the time i thought it was going to be him i was pretty sure it was going to be him and so i was hoping he would just play his idol on himself um yeah and he also had the extra vote so like we toyed with like oh if we can just get two you know that was the whole plan but yeah i was hoping he would just play his idol on himself and then um we'd both be safe but he, he made himself safe. Yeah. Makes me makes me definitely, like, speculate a bit about if Adam picks up that safety, that power. Like, Gabe probably has to play the idol. He doesn't get right. the, uh, the choice. It's, of the that, was, that was um, a tough thing to watch. Def different universe. That was really tough to watch because, <laughs> I mean, you can tell, but, like, Adam goes in, picks up the water, brings it back to me. So I never even, like, got back in there. Um, and I, I was pretty sure there might be something hidden in there. Um but like once well, you're, you're in there, you're in there pouring, uh, pouring stuff up with him, right? Um, yeah. You're just not, you're not in the corner. So I didn't like, walk back in the corner. Glance, yeah. It was like kind, of, you couldn't see it from where I was. It was kind of like in a, um, in Luke. Yeah, the cameras are making it look a little bit brighter than it, than it maybe is. Yeah. And um, in Luke, after I got booted, 
Luke and I like walked because I didn't know at the time. Like I was like, where was that? And so we watched the video, and I was like, oh, just sick to my stomach. Like, <laughs> oh, I was five feet away from it, and it just happened that Adam went and got the water instead of me. How it goes? Just so happens, yeah. Usually, Survivor is not a game of inches, but there it definitely was. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then obviously, you know, get the the nine one zero vote, um, or maybe eight one zero vote, right? With Gabe stepping out. Yeah. Um, so Which only, is surprising. Against you. Surprising they. St- I mean. They they didn't split or anything. They didn't right? like they split, were, yeah. But obviously, they learned their lesson later in the episode that they they don't split the votes uh, on Gabe the right. second time. Yeah. Uh, though though there's other things to be said about Elaine and and Bones kind of wanting that to happen. Mm-hmm. True. Um, but yeah, for 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 your vote out at least, um, yeah, definitely definitely just they pile them on. You stand up after after you hear the fourth vote, right. which was yeah, an outsider. Like, <laughs> You're this like oh, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think the next four are gonna be for Tom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then you get some parting thoughts, and then uh, uh, the only other question I've got for you about this is: you go back to the next tribal. Did you get to shower before tribal? Usually, Survivor CBS, everyone gets to, like the shower glow up. I yeah. see you've got the nice vest on, but like, did you get a shower as well? <laughs> Honestly, I, I think so. Yeah, I think I did get to. That's impressive because it's it's not a day turnaround. It's like a 30, 40 minute turnaround, right? It was yeah. So well, you saw me in the eating challenge. I like walk out, so that's like minutes later. Like I think I went immediately yeah. from my exit interview walked out the garage was like oh they're doing another challenge right now so that was literally within five minutes um Mm -hmm. and i'm trying to remember how much time actually passed between the next tribal but i'm sure i cleaned up a little bit hopefully you bet well any other thoughts on on the experience on the game you said you're gonna play it again that's what you said the end of the i'd love to yeah i mean it's all up to luke i mean he he has a lot on his plate when he does things like this, but I'd love to try again. Um, Definitely a few, like, maybe regrets just watching back. Like, maybe, like, early on in the game, I could have played completely differently, set my trajectory up differently. Um, Even, like, late game, like, what if I faked the idol stronger? Like, at the tribal, like, what? Maybe I should have just gone full in, like, hey, Gabe gave me his idol. I'm going to play it, whatever. Like, there's a few things where I'm like, why didn't I even give that a try? Um, some regrets like that, but hoping hoping to play again. Um, but, no, it was a great time. Ho- hopefully it's been a good watch. I'm excited to do it. It's, it's been fun. I think I think it's going to just get faster and faster. Yeah. Um, and it's going to get harder. You, yeah. And I don't know if the people know, but it has been a while since we've recorded. So it's fun watching back, and I'm like, Especially early on, I was like, I honestly don't remember who got booted here. Like, which, what order did people get booted? Like, oh, this challenge. So it is kind of fun um, watching back and reliving it. So it's it's been a blast. It's a little time capsule. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks uh, thanks for uh, for coming on, Clark. And hey, uh, you know, wishing you all the best outside Survivor Kings and Road Trip. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I'm having a good time watching the recap. So appreciate you pumping out that content.